saved from scrap. There is a scrapyard near Edwards Station. It's full of rusty old cars and machinery. One day, Edward saw a traction engine in the yard. Hello. What are you doing there? Well, I'm Trevor, and they're going to break me up next week. Oh, no. What a shame. I know. My driver says I only need some paint and brassle and oil to be as good as new. But it's no good. My master doesn't want me. I suppose it's because I'm old-fashioned. Hmm. Well, old-fashioned. People say I'm old-fashioned, but I don't care. The fat controller says I'm a useful engine. Ah, my driver says I'm useful too. I know I sometimes feels ill, but I don't give up like these modern tractors. I just struggle on and finish the job. I've never broken down in my life. Well, what work do you do? Well, my master would send us from farm to farm. We thrash the corn, old logs, sawed timber, and did lots of other work. We made friends at all the farms and saw them every year. The children loved to see us come. They followed us in crowds and watched us all day long. Ah, my driver would sometimes give them rides. Ah, yeah, the children, the children. Trevor shut his eyes, remembering. I like children, you know. Oh, yes, I like children. Edward was quite indignant. Broken up? Broken up? What a shame! Broken up? What a shame! And he clanked along back to work. I must help Trevor. I must. It's a shame. It's a shame. And he brought his coaches to the station. And there, waiting on the platform, was the vicar. He said to Edward's driver and fireman, Morning, Charlie. Morning, Sid. And he said to Edward, Hello, Edward. You look upset. What's the matter with him, Charlie? Hmm? Well, there's a traction engine in the scrapyard, Vicar. He'll be broken up next week, and it's a shame. Jem Cole says he never drove a better engine. Yes, that's right, sir. Do save him, sir. Do save him, sir. You've got room, sir. Oh, yes, Edward. I've got room. <laughs> but I don't need a traction engine. He'll saw wood and give children rides. Oh, do buy him, sir, please. Well, we'll see. We'll see. And the vicar climbed into the train. Jem Cole came to the scrapyard, and he said to Trevor, The Reverend's coming to see you, Trevor. Maybe he'll buy you. Buy me? Buy me? Do you think he will? He will when I've lit your fire and cleaned you up. When the vicar and his two boys arrived in the evening, Trevor was blowing off steam. He hadn't felt so happy for months. Jem called out, Watch this, reverence. And Trevor chuffered happily about the yard. The boys pleaded, Oh, do buy him, Daddy, do buy him. Well, let me try, Trevor, first of all. And the vicar climbed up beside Jem. Come on, show your paces, Trevor. And Trevor went off around the yard. Then the vicar went into the office and came out smiling. I've got him cheap, Jem. Quite cheap. Yeah, do you hear that, Trevor? The Reverend saved you. 
And you live at the vicarage now? Trevor's home in the vicarage orchard is close to the railway and he sees Edward every day. His paint is spotless and his brass shines like gold. Trevor likes doing his old jobs, but his happiest day is the church fete. Then, with a long wooden seat bolted to his bunker, he chuffers around the orchard, giving rides to the children. <laughs> Long afterwards, you will see him, with his eyes closed, remembering. I like children. I do like children.